So hello everyone, I am out here tonight, finally getting back. Had a uh, housewarming party for a friend of ours. Um, so me and my wife just got back home. Still a little weird saying that, but um, I just got my clothes all down that have been drying all day. And I have one pair of face layer still out there, so I gotta get that hung up in here, get the fan going on it, get that cleaned out, because I don't want any dampness going into my totes. I'm pretty meticulous when it comes to my scent-free stuff. Uh, typically in the mornings, I go to my hunting property, and then from there, I'll do a roadside bath. That's one of my other YouTube videos, if you want to check that out. Um, I use Alimi Shield products. That's what works for me. I've been using them for, I think, the past, this will be the fifth season, if not the sixth season, I've been using it. Um, and the results speak for themselves on the wall so what i do is my stuff is very organized when it comes to that um oh this year is the new uh helix uh new to me anyway helix ultra um got my carry strap I use this sometimes sometimes i don't but that's all been washed out um this will go back in the thing i just wanted to put it on the bow make sure it fit the new bow actually because it was running for my old elite and then what i'll do is this is my base layer tote um this has socks underwear um long john bases uh, compression layers that kind of stuff um will be in here um i use a limit shield on my hands uh the foam product before i handle any of this stuff um wipe it all up and down my arms but this is my base layers um this the shirts i leave on hangers in here that way i can pull a layer out very easily and then the bases are down in here at the bottom socks and everything i only wear one pair of socks per hunt and then they go in my dirty bin which is downstairs with the rest of my clothes because i didn't do my heavy layers yet because we're in early season so that'll be a whole nother uh batch of this and then uh i guess we'll just keep going through the thing this is my gloves uh muffs hats so this is all like my, my face stuff hand stuff everything like that and i swapped this out as needed um, a lot of this stuff will get put into my, when I get my setup I'm running for the early season, into my muffler um, and fanny pack, which is in this other tote. Um, we'll get that all set up, and then that'll go into my main tote, which I do use um, a scent crusher uh, ozone tote, which is this guy underneath. This has got my ozone stuff in it. This is all my big base layers. Again, I keep my uh, vests. Uh, jackets, other stuff like that on hangers. I have one backpack in there. That's my camera pack. If I decide to do some filming this year. Um, and then my camera gear will all go in there. But I can't wash that. That will get sprayed down and then air dried on a, a day probably this week. Um, and then again, this is my, I call it my heavy bin. Um, this one pretty much goes with me when I go to the woods. This has got, um, this pretty much rides in the back of my truck all season actually. This has got harnesses, spare harnesses, if I have friends with me or uh, somebody comes out and helps maybe film for me or something like that. Um, extra muffler in here um, in case they don't have one, it's getting cold. Um, but all my all my uh, tie straps have been washed, um, turnbuckles put back on them. Uh, my crossbow ropes, I wash those even. Um, when I do hunt with the crossbow, um, another tree strap. Um, my grunt calls, uh, extra release, um, again all washed, um, and then some extra extra bow hangers and stuff like that in here. This is my heavy duty bin, um, which a lot of this stuff will get put back into my muffler um, for use during the season. But that's kind of how I keep my gear separate. Like I said, this about rides in the back, or sometimes mostly in the cab of the truck actually with me. This one does, and then this one typically usually stays... Um, yeah, my parents or goes back and forth if I'm hunting one of the other properties that I hunt. So that's kind of my setup. And then this last backpack's got to go into um, and last tie strap. But before it got super buggy out here, because you can see them flying around, um, I wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown of my different totes for different things. Um, again, this one will probably come with me in the mornings. And then I run out of the other ones as needed. Um, once the heavy one's all set up, I really don't need that a lot, but it still rides in the truck because that's all my spare gear, spare harnesses, stuff like that. It's always good to have extra ropes. Um, I'll have one typically in my my muffler, and then I run a fanny pack on the side. So I don't usually run a backpack unless I'm taking a camera in with me. 
And then if it's super late season, like I got to go on a long trek, um, sometimes I'll pack my uh, heavy duty layers in here, like my bib and my heavy jacket will go in a pack like this to come in with me. But typically I don't bring a pack. It's usually fanny pack on the side and then the muffler in front. And you got lots of pockets in your gear. So I'm going to grab the last... If you can see it out there, the last base layer that was still damp. I'm going to bring that in here, put the fan on it, get it air dried out real quick. And uh, that's kind of it. So first two days of season for me was preps because I was on my honeymoon and um, enjoying that with the wife up in the Adirondacks. So I'll be putting up a bunch of pictures with that here shortly. And um, just getting ready for season. Ended up planting our last clover plot yesterday with my dad and my wife. Um... They were both out there. My dad was picking stones. My wife was uh, taking videos and pictures of us. Um, and then uh, I was out spreading seed. Um, so that's kind of the game plan. Bow's all tuned, ready to go. Um, dirt nap broadheads again this year. Lacrosse boots. Uh, they go in their own separate tote. I have another tote for them. Um, and I run them on the, uh, the scent crusher. Um, uh, tower boot dryer and then I run uh, it's the only thing I do run is uh, spray I spray in those two and then the outsides and let them air dry and then they go in their own clear tote which is right there actually out there still with the pile of stuff so that's kind of the game plan this year is sticking with a limit shield I usually do one wash now beginning of season and then when I'm doing getting ready for my late season layers I'll put back my dirties um, from early season back into that um and then that's kind of how i keep rolling with season i don't like to wear stuff more than a couple times because you do get sweating um but right now i'm just waiting for fronts um unless i got some intel i plan on slipping out tomorrow in the rain and grabbing a couple cards in a couple spots seeing if we got any intel on some of these bucks we're after this year on the pieces of property we hunt we'll see how much i can get done um i did all my duties today so to speak getting stuff done around the house getting stuff all washed up with this nice 70 degree day in case i have good intel um this week i can get out for an afternoon hunt or something like that but it looks like we got another seven to ten days of 70s so it's going to be a little bit of a bear um you know having good consistent movement unless we got something hitting food uh, pretty regularly so um and we'll see i might slip out there take a doe something like that but uh, I guess it all kind of depends. It's not that easy when it's 70 degrees out to get one processed up either. So I'm a little hesitant on even pulling the trigger on a dough. But we're all set to go here. Just waiting on the right conditions and the right timing. And uh, I usually put a new sticker on something every year. Got QDMA sticker, Gamekeeper sticker, Pertinier sticker. My boot one has like 12 stickers on the lid of that one. Um... But the uh, Pertinier one was sitting in the office, so I figured that'd be a good one to put on my base layer bin. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, my little how-to. Um, if you want to check out the roadside bath video, that's on the YouTube channel as well. Um, and then again, the big thing is just uh, access. I mean, we do all this scent control stuff, but it doesn't matter if your access isn't right. Um, and please, don't be that guy that I saw today at the gas station um in his hunting clothes talking about how he just saw a couple does and one small buck um and everything like that or be like some of the people i saw online today you know with dirty boot tracks going in you know just be smart guys don't wear your boots and stuff like that to your properties i have a pair of like sandal croc things that i wear when i drive to the property in the morning typically i'm in a pair of pajamas like a long sleeve shirt i might put on and then my uh pajama pants or whatever i go to my hunting property i do my roadside bath typically unless i'm staying like at my parents house and can go out the back door after i shower in the morning or something like that but most of the time i'm doing roadside bath which is real applicable for clients or people that don't live on their hunting property um i've had great success doing that you know neck pits everything like that i go over it in that roadside bath video i know it's tough to see in the video but you can hear me talk about how i'm doing stuff and everything like that but the big thing is prep and then again like i always preach access is the most important thing to having successful consistent hunts so i hope you guys enjoyed this video a little long-winded but i hope you get a lot of good information out of it and maybe something to help you with your scent control or your access or however you're setting up for season maybe even organization might be something that some people struggle with so hope you enjoyed it
Hope you guys have a good and successful season. I'd love to hear about it, and I'd love to answer any questions you have throughout the season. So please feel free to get a hold of me. I'll catch you all next time out here in the field or on the porch. Take care, guys.